What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Game Breaker Master and today I'm bringing you a solo dupe glitch. Yes, I said solo. You don't need anybody other than a friend that's playing in a separate lobby uh, in a different targeting mode um, and just playing the game. So yeah, uh, you will need an Avenger. You will need a mobile command center, and you will also need a facility for this glitch. So go ahead and walk into your facility. Once you get into the facility, I'll do mention before you come into the facility, make sure you have your text messages uh, from Lester for a recent uh, setup or heist. Go ahead and walk into the back of the Avenger and once you get in, just go to the front of the Avenger until you will see a enter cockpit prompt. Now at this point, you're gonna hit your PlayStation button, push down, and look for a person that is playing. That's it. Push X to join. Once you get back, you'll see that loading screen right there. Push X to enter cockpit, and if you do it right, you will get that alert message. Except the first one, um, circle on the second one, deny the second one. Once you get out the Avenger, you're going to pull out your phone and, and accept that high setup um, from Lester. This should teleport you to your apartment. You're going to do a circle out of that and turn around and walk into your garage. Enter garage. Note, before this glitch, you were going to need LG RH8 stashed in this garage for this glitch. Once you enter the garage, you're going to pull up the RH8. Note that you're going to do this three times. You're going to get in it, start it, let it start, get out. Get back in the car, let it start. Get back out of the car. Get back in the car. And this time you were able to drive out. If you do this successfully, you will end up outside the apartment and you will automatically glitch outside of the bunker. Turn the car around and enter the facility. You'll get the facility alert. Go ahead and accept that. If you do this glitch any other way than prompt, it will not work. Or it will work sometimes, it's very temperamental. But the way I have done it, it works every time. Once you get back into the facility, you are gonna replace the car that you came in with with the LG Retro Custom. Don't worry people, it's not gonna dupe over it. When you come back up here, you are gonna get into the LG Retro Custom that you replaced the car with before, which was an RH8. Wait till the car is completely started before driving it out the facility. Once out the facility, you're going to call your mobile command center and just wait. Do some peel outs, but just chill, you know. Note every time that you come out the facility with this retro custom, you will have a new plate. No custom plates needed. Every time it's a brand new plate. So no dupe detection, which is a beautiful thing when it comes to car duplication. Go ahead and drive to your mobile command center. Go 
Go ahead and drive up, push right on the D-pad and push X. Uh, you probably won't get that uh, that uh, command center full alert um, until, you know, second or third time that you've done the glitch. Get out of the car and then get back into the car. Hey, Avatar Monty, get back in the car. There you go. <laughs> Wait till the car is completely started and then get back out of the car. Get back in the car. Wait till the car is started and drive out of the mobile command. Oh, well, we'll do it one more time then just to make sure. Funny guy. Once you're outside the, the mobile command center, you can get out of the car, start an MC if you haven't already and return car to vehicle storage. At this point, you're going to want to kill yourself. And that's pretty much the glitch. Um, I park, uh, you can just run up there to that mobile command center and just use it to repeat. And uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, so yes, thank you for choosing Game Breaker Master and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Enjoy glitching when you can.